a little bit of bump on the face. Are all good or what happened? Oh, that ain't nothing to bump for him right there. He's like, I put a band over it. Don't want nobody seeing it. Okay, cool. Um, how do you guys feel about preparing for Mississippi State in the start of SEC play when things start to matter more now? And uh, I feel I feel pretty confident coming in. The game plan that we got for them in the offense, I feel like it could be a really good battle. How do you guys plan to compete with that air raid offense that's going to be in a fast-paced game and a lot of downfield passes? You know, how do you respond to that as a team? Well, first off, um, number one thing is, you know, have great effort. You got to have disciplined eyes and, you know, just learn how to play your gap and don't be undisciplined. I know a lot of players on the team have been talking about finding an identity. How do you think this week's practice goes? What, what are you guys building out there? Come again? Um, what identity is the team trying to build this season? I don't really get it. Like, what's, what's the message in the locker room? Like, what are you guys saying to each other after every single practice leading into the game? Um, well, our number one thing is, you know, we all together. So we all come in this together. We are a defense together. So we all, you know, if we fail, we all fail together. And if one succeed, we all succeed together. So I feel like that's the message we're getting around. Coach Brian Kelly said that the injury of Mason Smith would test the depth for LSU. How do you think y'all have responded to that? Uh, I feel like we responded pretty good. You know, Mason, he bring a lot to our table, and ha not having them did damage our depth chart. But we have, you know, other people like Makai Wingo and, you know, Jay Roy. I feel like they're good enough to fill in that spot. And, you know, at first it, it was rumored that Mason wouldn't be able to be on the sideline for the Southern game, but, you know, he made an appearance Saturday night. How important was that for y'all, you know, to keep that energy there, a vital part of your line? You know, that was really important. You know, before we went out, we all got together. You know, we're doing this for Mason. We know he can't play, so we go play hard enough so to where he feel like he playing. And, uh, you know, he's been in the, the re rehabilitation center, you know, right before the surgery. Kind of speak on his rehab, where he's at right now, and just how the energy is going around his situation. Uh, I don't really be that for whenever he do rehab and stuff, but as I see him walk through the locker, you know, he on the crutches, you know, he moving faster. It don't look like he in pain, so I say he's doing better. Uh, Savion, how, how do you prepare for a, for an air raid offense? Like, like, like how, how do you, you know, tr try to get, get a good look and, and get a good, good feel for it? Well, I think the most important thing is our scout offense, like, Without them, you know, we wouldn't be able to prepare because, you know, like they got to replicate what they do and then bring, bring it on to us and do it at their top speed. And I feel like it's the most important thing. Has that required a lot more uh, conditioning this week in practice? Um, well, we condition pretty hard every, every day. So it's like, it ain't nothing new, but yeah. Uh, does it feel like the, the, the vibe, the, the, the intensity level goes up now that is SEC play and, and every game matters that much more? Oh, most definitely. You know, every win is important, but, you know, the other week is behind us. It's time to move on to SEC week. So it's like we can't, we need to up our game even more than what it was before. Matt House has been incorporating you a lot into the defense. Uh, kind of speak about your increased role and just how, how that experience has been. You guys say again? Uh, how has the experience been with an increased role this season? You know, two weeks in, how are you feeling? How is, uh, how's everything? You know, it's a, it's a lot of stress, but, you know, I feel like that's a good thing because he trusts me more in the, in the depths, in the depth chart and stuff, so I feel like that's pretty important. And building trust is important. You see him building trust with Harold Perkins as well. He gives him a, a more increased role Saturday, and then he comes out and leads the game with seven tackles. Kind of talk about Harold Perkins and how he's adjusted as well. Wait, I like that again. How do you think Harold Perkins has handled his increased role as well? Uh, I think he handled it pretty good. You know, when he first got out, child, he was a little, you know, a little slow. But he, his speed is picking up just as fast as anybody else on the field.